Hello, everybody. I was paging through our yearbook for the 2016-17 school year and was amazed to see how our students have grown. Faces became more angular, pants became shorter, and smiles filled in with new teeth. From August until May, tiny little changes happened so subtly that I did not notice until I compared the fall photographs in the yearbook with the children in the classrooms this spring. In nine short months, the changes were truly remarkable. This slow yet fast process of physically maturing reminded me of how much is happening to them, in them, so slowly and so quick quickly that we hardly notice until all of a sudden we do. Some of those internal changes included increased attention spans. Their vocabulary became more precise. They became more able to identify their feelings and to express frustrations and joys or appreciation in words. Your child learned day by day, moment by moment, that they're participating in a world full of contradictions, beautiful surprises, and explanations to what seemed like mysteries. They discovered that Shapes and movements can be explained through math. If they rearrange 26 letters into different patterns in just the right way, you have every story ever told from Homer to Hogwarts. If we somehow had the ability to look back as if paging through a yearbook to see the changes that happen in our children from August until May as they explore math and music and science and literature and friendships, we would be similarly shocked at how much they've grown. They've accomplished a lot this year, inside and out. The new school is also growing. Enrollment has increased. We're adding a new three to six classroom and additional staffing. We continue to grow with our knowledge with meaningful professional development, which deepens and expands our practice. The trending words in traditional educational conferences and literature right now are collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. Experts in the fields explain that these three skills are what are necessary for a 21st century economy. As a Montessorian, I have to smile a little at how these skills are considered provocative or even described as 21st century skills. Dr. Maria Montessori created a curriculum over 100 years ago that promoted these same skills. She developed child-centered materials, specific lesson plans with a scope and sequence and an overarching philosophy that explains that these skills are not just 20th or 21st century skills, but rather these are skills that are timeless and necessary for becoming independent, fully realized individuals, no matter what century you're living in. Multi-age collaborative projects that developed communication skills and Montessori design materials that require critical thought have been cornerstones in Montessori schools since the early 1900s. The Montessori curriculum wasn't designed to meet the demands of a certain type of economy in a particular era, but rather were painstakingly created through careful scientific observations and study to meet the de demands of an evolving mind so that no matter what economy you're living in or what decade you're living in, we're prepared to adapt, improvise, problem solve, flourish. Our students and teachers understand that education is not just about preparing you for a job. It's about discovering your purpose in life through play, passion, and hard work. It's about falling in love with as many aspects of the world as possible. Painter Vincent Van Gogh said, love many things for therein lies true strength and whosoever loves much, performs much, and can accomplish much. And what is done in love is done well. We hope you're having an amazing summer, and we cannot wait to see you in the fall. Take care and be safe.